All right, guys, welcome back. We got a weird surprise email from a water purifier company. So I guess that's what I'm doing now. In Park Boulevard. Water purifiers, eh? This is the company's over on Park Boulevard. Isn't that the former Camarocho Hills construction site? Yeah, it's nearby. And there is still the thing waiting down there, too. The... This whole area is technically the Camarcho Hills construction site, but in particular, one of them is the, uh... The entrance is historically the bathroom, so we'll head towards that direction. What is this, though? Hello? Is this Kiryu-san? Yeah, speaking. Sorry to call you out of the blue like this. I'm from the Dragon Palace. Wait, really? Dragon Palace? Oh, right. Yes! Thank you. The Dragon Palace has regained its former glory. Our casino and our gambling hall have both reopened. I hope you'll come visit us soon. I think I'll do just that. We're looking forward to seeing you. Thank you again. Okay, it's, it's not a sub-story. Not explicitly, at least. I'll, I'll wait. I need to look up how to play Hanafuda or... or CeeLo online... first. And then I can, like, kind of walk you guys through it as I'm doing it in an episode. It's part of my- it's one of- it's part of my immersion that I do with these games, is I teach myself- Ow. Hey! It's part of my ongoing immersion mission, is that each time I play a Yakuza game, I learn another game in the game and try to play it. Holy shit, you're strong. Wait, aren't you former Yakuza? Or at least I tried, with like Mahjong and some other stuff. One of these days I'll learn how to play Shogi. I heard it's Japanese chess. But I don't, I don't actually know how it translates though, or how much, how applicable that is or isn't. Oh, are you one of the lucky few, the chosen? Congratulations, allow me to show you to our office. I did get a message to that effect. Mind if I come inside? Absolutely, absolutely. Right this way, sir. Water purifiers? Welcome. And my most sincere congratulations on being selected as a product tester. How exciting for you. A tester? Wait. Our company's Super IH water purifier is state-of-the-art, utilizing the same electromagnetic coil system as induction heaters. Electromagnetic power not only removes chlorine, but also kills bacteria and adds alkali, alkali ions, so your water will actually make you healthy. Oh, pardon me. I haven't asked you your name. It's Kiryu. Kiryu-san. Kiryu-san. All right, then. Kiryu-san. From what you've heard so far, do you have any idea how wonderful our Super IH water purifier is? More or less. Well, wait till you hear this. Old people selected to test our water purifiers will get to keep the model they tested after the evaluation period is through. We're talking about a Super IH water purifier that sells for 1 million yen at retail. Now what do you think? Isn't that the most amazing thing you've ever seen? That's like $10,000 I think, isn't it? Stop asking me that and get on with your pitch already. The Super IH water purifier produces water that makes you healthy just by drinking it. And right now, you've earned the right to receive one free charge, run free of charge, Kiryu-san. That's, there's just one thing I'd like to know, f you to know first. What? There happens to be a 300,000 yen fee to have their product professionally installed in your home. That's actually the price of the necessary parts. You'll have to pay for the labor, isn't that right? That's right. The Super IH water purifier itself and the plumbing labor costs are on us. You just have to, you just have to pay for parts. So, Kiryu-san, I know 300,000 yen is a fair amount, but what do you say? It's a small pi price to pay for such a life-altering device. Oh my god, it's all my money. Maybe they were waiting for me to get that much money before I got the call. And could we ask you to pay the installation fee up front? <sighs> for content. This feels like a con. Yeah, we'll just do. Wow, that was distressingly in sync. That would be really off-putting in real in real life, I think. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll have the Super IH water purifier delivered to your home. We'll be in touch to schedule the installation. Do they know I live in Okinawa? Like, that could be a deal breaker potentially if they're a local business. Let me show you the way out. Have a great day and thank you again. Strange men are going to show up at a home full of unattended children and install something. Right? What? What a what a weird quest. I just got experience for it. Doesn't that mean it's over? Wait. <laughs> Wait. How is that how does that end? Uh, I could use some meat. Let's go to the meat place right here. <clears throat> I need healing. Sir Loin. Oof, I'm full. Kinda looks like one of those heat your own, like cook your own thing places. Which I've been to before, but I don't think that's quite the same thing. I think it might just be that there's a, a spot to keep the food warm or something in the middle. I'm not ein hundred percent sure. What? The heck does that mean? Turf. <laughs> That's new though, I've never s what? I'm more curious. I don't think I've ever seen like a random green spot on the map before. Hello, weapon boy. Bad news. Jeez, that was a really big weapon. Where's the sword? No! How did I break his sword? How? It's a sword. Oh there it is. Ah, it's a chipped dagger, apparently. Oh, it didn't give me the heat I was hoping for. Stop that. Gah. He does not fall over. Help. Help me beat this guy. Nope, can't do that. He's too big. Oops. Missed my chance. Those bikes? They are bikes. Yay. No man can surpass bikes. Seriously, bikes are just my secret weapon. They're so powerful. Unfortunately, I can't do what I could when I was younger. When I was younger, I could pick up a fucking moped or a motorcycle and beat people with it. Oh, shit. If only our Aniki was here. I'd kick his ass too, and then I'd make ten grand instead of five. Bring him. Bring him out here. I have a water purifier to pay for, motherfucker. Can I not go in here? Oh, the back door's not currently... Well, there's an invisible wall here. Yeah, the, the staircase down through the back door is currently not there. They must have remodeled the building later. There's all these subtle differences. Like, this is where the... One of these buildings here is where they did the thing where the... Uh... There's a staircase. Is that one? That's I think that's the one. It's like a staircase down to like a koi pond. Which below that was a gambling hall. That's like five games from now. What does this icon mean? The green. Yellow K? What's going on here? They're all really big fans of somebody who's low resolution. <laughs> My goodness! Are you a fan of Yusama too? Yusama. Don't tell me you've never heard of Yusama! The Korean megastar? Yuj Il Yujin? What planet are you from? Oh. Right. Il Yujin. Got it. Yusama's doing a special light performance of Winter Gift today here in Kamurocho. He'll be coming out soon, but there are a ton of other women trying to hog his attention. At this rate, I'll never get his autograph. 
Very popular with older women. Exclusively, apparently. Oh, I know. How about you get his autograph for me? I'm sure it'll be fun. His autograph, eh? Why is this a green dot on the map and not a question mark? If you insist. I'll pay you for your trouble, of course. <clears throat> All you have to do is take this up and get it signed. I'll get in position for some nice sh shots for you, Shama. I guess I'll go get his autograph. What? Is this a new category? Approach Eugene from the front, talk to him, and get his autograph. He's surrounded by female fans. Go get his autograph without bumping into them. Bump into them three times and you'll lose your chance. What? Can't I just go around them? You need to get back in line, mister. We've been standing here since early this morning. Wait your turn like everyone else. Ugh. Wait, was that bumping into them? I'm confused by this quest now. Where do you think you're going? I told you, you need that- I need that autograph. I don't understand this quest. Am I supposed to walk through the middle of them, I guess? Fuck, these random crowds are a nightmare right now. Hey, stop pushing. Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> Phew! <laughs> I made it. <coughs> Give me your autograph. Please. Wait a minute. Is that... you, Kiryu-san? No. Now that I think about it. Didn't we meet a few years ago? Yes. We met before, Kiryu-san. You showed me around Kamarot Show. Then. It's nice to see you again. He's the guy I did a tour- you gave a tour to. And he was getting mobbed with fans, I think, the whole time? Heh. <laughs> I could say the same. You come to see me today? You could say that. Why don't we talk over a drink later? That sound good. You take good care of me before. Oh, right. Someone asked me to have you sign this. Would you mind? Huh? Hey! What? Who are you people? You're Illusion, ain't ya? That Korean star makes shitloads of money, right? What do you want from me? Let me tell you, my boss's wife's a real big fan. Might even be your biggest pretty boy. Oh, that nice? I was thinking we could come with us. Give her a little private interview right now. Well, I'll have a big performance to do right now. Very sorry, but we must be going. Maybe you didn't understand. Are you trying to disrespect us? You co you're coming whether you like it or not, hotshot. The man said no. Who the hell's this prick? You're fucking with the wrong crew, pal. Am I though? Don't you work for me? Or not or with my organization, I mean. Seems like a bad mistake on your part. Stop hitting him. Oh no. I don't think he's going to recover. Paralyzed for life. Hey friend. No, I want to hit the guy. God damn it. I can hit I wanted to hit two people not one. All right. Son of a bitch. Let's get out of here. That's about the usual. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. Oh. I forget to give you an autograph. Here, take- please take. Wow, that fight was amazing! You're the best, Yusama. The best. I'd better hand this- over this autograph. Do you have the autograph? Yeah. 
Well done. And here's a little something for all your trouble. You accomplished something great today. I'd say you're an honorary Usama groupie. Let's keep being the best fans we can be. What does that mean? This is some creepy obsessive shit. Don't dedicate yourself to this. That's a toxic pair of social relationship. Alright. Why? Where are these coming from? Maybe there's just so many quests that the game wants to like dole them out like one at a time. Otherwise the screen would just be covered in like 30 icons. Like it's a fucking Assassin's Creed game where you open up the map and you're just like, you get instant fatigue seeing the, in the like the infinite objectives and you're like, I don't want to play anymore. Cause that's definitely what my reaction was when I played like... Assassin's Creed Unity I think? Where I open the map and I'm just like, ugh. Everything okay? No. I feel like somebody's following me. Three days ago, I came to Tokyo to try to make it on my own. Wow, never heard that story in this game yet. But I feel like some weirdo has been watching me the whole time. These are dangerous times. A girl like you shouldn't be walking these streets alone. But I just transferred to a company here in Kamurocho, and I don't know anybody. I'll bet you anything I'm being stalked. You think you, think you got a stalker? Would you do me a favor and track down this creep who's following me? I'll pay you for it, of course. Sure, why not? <laughs> Thank you so much. My name's Emmy, by the way. What's yours, if you don't mind me asking? Kiryu. Kiryu okay, Kiryu-san. I'm counting on you. Where is he? Hmm, any suspicious looking guys around here? Bingo. I'll see if I can follow that guy without being spotted. Cautiously follow, follow the suspected stalker. If you get too close, they'll spot you, but if you lose him, if you let him to get too far... Yeah, I played this exact mission before in several games. Got slight PTSD flashbacks from Judgment. Are you ready for a 30-minute trailing mission? Because, boy, howdy, are you going to get one? <laughs> I lost him. I didn't lose him, he's right- I can see him right there- Fucking what? What happened? I was following a guy that looked pretty suspicious, but I lost him, sorry. Oh, well don't worry about it. Maybe I'm just imagining this whole stalker thing. I wouldn't want to waste any more of your time, curious on. Take this for your trouble. Thank you again. i a little worried about her, but if she says she's okay, I'll leave it at that. Uh-oh. Wait, it's just over. Wait, you can fail missions. That- what? Not only can you fail the mission... But, like, there was no meter. So, like, you didn't really have any idea of when they were gonna arbitrarily make you lose. So, I guess that mission's failed. Alright, well... <laughs> I'm not loading a save. My last save was, like, an hour and a half ago. I'm definitely not going to manually save before every single substory in case they fail. That'll just be the story we got. No! Why are there so many disgruntled Yakuza? And why do they have shitty suits? What's this leper print bullshit? Maybe there'll be like a sequel quest that follows up on what happened. That guy has a double health bar. It's unusual. Dude. Hoshi, no. Dead Hoshi. This is a giant ass crowd of people. Was this five? I think this was five people. Uh -huh. How did you change direction in midair? Ow. Oh my god. You're a Tekken character. This is bullshit. Why are you allowed at this game? You're in the wrong game, sir. Oh 
Oh my god, he can interrupt my combos with like overpowered super hits. You don't get the tiger drop, only I get the tiger drop. Why is it so hard to hit people when they're down? It just doesn't work most of the time. Oh! He still hit me with the backflip. The first time I've beaten an enemy while in the, in the middle of getting my ass kicked. Unexpected 30 grand. But he was still just some dude that wasn't like a quest or anything. That was just a hype ass random encounter. It's like when you like late in Final Fantasy and you're like, shit, that's a behemoth. Guy, it's I walked one block. Sir, you are in my way. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Or at least give me a number of experience points that makes this worth my stop. Boom! Double kill! Ugh. They cheat. <laughs> they just come at you when you're in the middle of a goddamn cutscene. It's like, I can't fight back. I can't even see yet. I'm in a magic cutscene land where nothing matters. Oh, that guy's down. Oh, I was trying to get my heat, but I... All those little whiffs made it drop even more than taking a hit would. And then I took a hit. Aye! Whoa, they're just throwing money at me. The game judging me for not having enough money? You look to be a good guy. Lend me a hand. What's going on? My granny's coming up with this from the sticks. I kind of told her I was a company president here in Kamurocho, which is kind of not true. So I'm begging you, please pretend you work for me so I can keep up the lie. Why should I have to do that? Granny's getting frail and was in a bad place for a while there. I thought I'd cheer her up by telling her I was a big corporate hotshot. I've been nothing but trouble since I was a little kid, so hearing I'd been an upstanding member of society thrilled her to no end. But now she's on the ho she's out of the hospital on her way here to see how I've been doing. But if she found that I was lying, I get where you're coming from, but you should just be honest with her. Yeah, I know, but I think there are times where a lie is justified, necessary even. So please, back me up on this. For my granny's sake. Well, if you're that dead set on the idea, we'll have to make sure your lie is airtight. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm ready to take anything she throws at me. So what do you say? Okay, I suppose I'll take a supporting role in the performance of your lifetime. For your grandmother's sake, you understand. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You don't know how much this will help me. Come over this way. Granny's waiting. She's right over here? You're in the middle of it? I'd like to introduce you to someone, Granny. This here is my employee, Mr. Kazuma Kiryu. I work for the president. Ah. My, Masahiko must certainly keep you busy. Masahiko? <laughs> hey, what's wrong with you, Kiryu-kun? Forget my first name, eh? Haha, <laughs> we didn't establish what your name is or even what the business is, you fucking idiot. You could have told me. I'm Masahiko's grandmother, Shizu. A Shizu, you'll be giving me a tour of Kamarocho today, hmm? How exciting. But my goodness, don't businessmen wear ties these days? Actually... We try not to use our air conditioner. Oh. Ah, yes, to conserve energy in summer. That's a popular idea nowadays. But in winter? Aren't you cold, dear? Yes, even in winter. Our president's very ecologically minded. Oh. Come to think of it, even the prime minister goes without a tie now and again. 
It's so hard for me to imagine this boy running a company headquarters in such a big, impressive building. I've been working hard here in Tokyo, Granny. How about you show me around the office, then? I'd love to meet all your employees. Well, about that. Um, Kiryu-kun? They have the day off today. Oh, is that so? What a laid-back company you have there, Masahiko. <laughs> Say, Granny, you must be hungry. Why don't we go to my favorite Yakiniku place? <laughs> yes, yes, why not? Go ahead and show me the way, sweetie. His interrupt- his little animation got interrupted, but was he disappointed in my answer? Is that bad? I come here- I come here all the time. Their food's out of this world. Am I gonna have to pay for their food? This is the same place I was- I've been taken to by the other lady that wanted expensive food and I had to pay for them too. Like, that's that- is that the grift? Ha! <laughs> Imagine running to you and- running into you in a place like this. You got that hundred grand ready? Oh, uh, uh... What's going on? I borrowed 80 thou from this loan shark when I lost money on the horses the other day. Can't you just make something up so leave us alone? Please? <laughs> Come on, a hundred thousand, including interest. Pay up now, or I'll just keep growing. It'll just keep growing, pal. Make something up? I'm not paying. It's not my money. Absolutely. The 100,000 yen set you ordered, right? I'll make sure our president sends it to you right away. Huh? Yeah? You're not making any sense, pal. I'll make sure our president sends it to you right away. Please understand. That's all we can do for you today. Well, as long as you pay the interest, too. I guess I got no complaints. No slacking off, though, you hear me? Ah. Oh, a work conversation. You must be awfully busy to be talking shop even on your breaks. <laughs> Is everybody ready for some Yakiniku? Eat up, Granny. It'll make you strong. Every time I hear Yakiniku, I think of Rakanishu from, D from Diablo 2. It's just too close. I never thought I'd live to see the day my Masahiko treated me to a meal. <laughs> what are you talking about, Granny? This won't be the last time Grub will be on me. But you know, it's not nice to lie. Huh? huh? <laughs> I've known all along you were no company president. And you had to go and bring this nice Kiryu san into it, too. He, pro he probably cried until you gave in, right? He's always done that. N no. <sighs> you don't have to be a big shot CEO for me, Masahiko. Just live an honest life, and a happy one. That's good enough for your old granny. <laughs> granny, I... I think my job here is done. Here you, son. Thank you for helping me today. I really did enjoy myself. Here, won't you take this? It's a souvenir from my hometown. You be the best grandson you can be, got it? Also, pay your hundred grand plus interest loan? Like, shit. <laughs> Granny looks pretty happy. I guess the occasional lie isn't always so bad after all. Well, she knew it was a lie the entire time, making it ineffective on every level. She, like, it was always known to be a lie. Wait, was that not even the question mark I was going for? Or is there just a new one in the same spot? Like, in a massive coincidence. That's fucking creepy. Like, is this how is this, is this how they string me on forever? Is that like, I'm always like, oh, I'll just do one more quest. It's like that one more turn syndrome people have in a civilization. It's just one more turn. Just one more turn. Just one more turn. It's like, oh, just one more quest. Just one more quest. Because they just keep showing one at a time. What? What do you want? Huh? You're the... A dragon of... Huh. So you're back now, huh? All right, then. Let me, t let, me uh, let me tell you what you need to do. Go over to the video store and say the following to the guy working there. You got the mixed bathing hot spring special? I'm telling you, it'll be worth your while. You said to trust me on this one, all right? I'm rooting for you this time. Big time. The what? 
The video store. What the fuck? The video store should be like just south of here, I think. Like that one. Um... What is the video store? Men's entertainment booth. Video st I don't know where the video store is. Oh. No, I just want the item. I ran out of money, so I'm gonna beat it out of you. Uh... I'm about to find out that you secretly had money the whole time, aren't I? Woohoo! Oh, there's more of you. Do you all need to take the train home? Ow. You know, Kiryu's the kind of guy where if you just asked me for train money, I'd probably just give it to you. Like, he's pretty chill. But you had to go and make an ass of yourself. Why did he give me shoe soles? Do they even fit me? I just wanted that. That's all I wanted. Be my baby. Cafe wonderful. 24 at hour Phobos? Oh, it's no way. I thought it was a 24 hour photo place, but it's just like a place called Phobos. That's open 24 hours. It looks so much like a 24-hour photos label. I have no idea where this video store is. I'm getting addicted to Tankanankan. Why do they keep mentioning it? Why is everyone talking about this? It's so weird. It's just the hot new craze sweeping the nation. I thought the video store was like here. Men's and women's used clothing. Wow, men's and women's. Those are like all two of the peoples. Oops. I just feel like you could just say, we have clothing here at that point. Heal me, I'm in pain. Poor Kiryu is getting so fragile and sad these days. Save my poor baby. Wait, did I not? Okay, I did heal. I just, I skipped the animation. I was a little worried for a second there. Play Miel. I don't know, maybe it wasn't the list and I just went through it too fast, but I did not see a video store. I guess I just have to wait till I randomly find it one day. This is where I fought the men in black. Did I ever get that one item that was up on the ledge when I found the guy that has you fight virtual people? I don't remember if I did that or not. Shit. Dude, there was an item there. Yeah, like that guy just randomly giving you a video store password and, he, and not even be marked as a quest just kind of shows like how packed the world is right now which is like weird shit oh that's a pachinko parlor El Dorado these streets are paved in gold hey you excuse me huh you talking to me? Sorry to bother you, but are you Kazuma Kiryu? Yeah, that's me. And you are? I knew it! I'm a student of the Komaki Dojo. Komaki Dojo? Oh, you mean old man Komaki? Haven't seen him in forever. He started his own dojo, huh? Sounds like he's doing pretty well. Yes, sir, he is. I actually have a letter for you from him. 
He told me to give it to you if I ever spotted you in the city. You got a letter from Kamaki. Letter from Kamaki? Wonder what he wants. How are you doing, my prized pupil? When I heard you'd return to Kamarocho, I knew I must pen a letter to you at once. I'm currently running a dojo at the Dragon Palace. I believe you're quite familiar with the location. Yeah, I made it, kind of? Just now? Like, today? I understand that while I was away on a short trip, you fought off some hooligans that were making trouble at the Dragon Palace. I wanted to extend my thanks to you for that. From the rumors I have heard, your life of peace and tranquility has not dulled your fighting edge. Knowing you, however, I suspect that way of life may not last much longer. If you ever feel the need to train again, please stop at my dojo at the, Drogo, at the Dragon Palace. I'm happy to help you get back into shape. However, there is one matter you that may require your help. I'll tell you more when we meet again in person. Sotaro Komaki. Komaki Dojo. Huh. I swear that old man never changes. It has been a while since we last saw each other. Maybe I should go and pay old man Komaki a visit. Hey, is the old man back in the dojo now? Yes. Master Komaki has returned. Please tell, take the elevator to the dojo floor. I'll be uh, on a going ahead and tell him you to know, and let him know you're here. The dojo at the Dragon Palace, huh? I should stop by when I have a minute. And here we go. I'm a little surprised that they had to go ahead to even redo all of Kamurocho Hills, considering. Directly underneath that was like the biggest gambling like secret city ever with like ridiculous elevators going to it and shit and like all of that just gets like paved over for the Kamurocho Hills project but then the Kamurocho Hills project gets cancelled so it's like all that stuff got like paved over for no reason but also it's hardly how to keep that stuff a secret when it all get dug up you're pretty fucked at that point I'm I'm still very much not sure why that one quest was a green circle and when all the other ones are a question mark. That was weird. Yeah, there's no running button as far as I can tell. It's right trigger during chase sequences and in other games I think it was X. Casino and Gambling Hall. Someone got their ass beat. Nanja. Well, if it isn't my favorite pupil. It has been far too long since our last meeting. I'm pleased you have come to see me. Good to see you too. Doing well, I assume? Of course. I have more pupils than I know what to do with. Ever since I opened this dojo. It's been quite a while since you left Comrade Shokiryu. Have you retained the skills I taught you, or have they grown rusty in the time that has passed? Well, I haven't been fighting for my life as much, ever since I moved to Okinawa. I suppose I haven't really had many chances to use your moves in combat. To be honest, I'm not even sure I remember them all anymore. Still, I might need to use your techniques to protect the ones I love. Would you mind teaching me to them again? Hmm. Nanda. Very well. Let us revisit your training once more. <clears throat> First, you must review what you've already learned. I can't teach you new techniques if you cannot remember the simple, simplest basics. Let's see what you still remember. Sounds good. Hmm. Aho! I've got it. Three of my former pupils work here in Kamarocho. Find them and challenge them to a fight. Wait, what? I thought you were going to teach me again, not some of your pupils. <clears throat> Everything must be done in the proper order. Defeating fighters who are skilled in my techniques should help you remember the moves you have forgotten. These pupils of mine are some of the finest fighters I've ever taught. You won't have an easy time of it, believe me. I believe you. 
I'm more than a little rusty. All right, where can I find these pupils of yours? I will tell you where you can find them. Listen carefully now. The first pupil of mine works at a sushi restaurant. He quit his training to pursue his dream of being a sushi chef. Second also works at some kind of restaurant. I don't remember the name, but it has something to do with smiling. Wow. What? <laughs> How could I ever track it down? The third one works as a barker in Shichifuku Street. I believe he works for some sort of club. Very well. Come see me when you located and defeated all of my pupils. So, probably s Oopsie. Probably Sushi Jin, which is in the most southern part of the town. Smile Burger. And Shichifuku Street. That's the harder one to find. Ah, right here. Okay. <laughs> just go south by one block and then just find the Barker that's there. Easy peasy. Is this the Barker spot? It is, right? Where is it? Where is he? Yo, Club Barker, where you at? Oh, there he is. Men's entertainment box. Hello, would you like to be in a box full of men's entertainment? These places are so fucking weird. It must be a real thing, because they're in all the games. Like, it's, I'm supposed to think this is normal. It's just a room that is entirely a, an advertisement for all the different clubs. And that's all you do in it, I guess? Like, what a bizarre piece of property. It's just a series of posters. Hey you! Why don't you take a load off at our hostess club? Our girls are as cute as they come. Not right now. I've got business with you, actually. Are you one of Kamaki's students? What? By any chance, are you Kazuma Kiryu? Yeah, that's me. So you're the famous Kiryu. Ha! Master Kamaki told me all about you. He wants you to fight his former pupils so that you can remember the moves he taught you in the past, right? Curious on. If a man wants to be popular with women in Kamurocho, what's the one thing he needs? Uh. Huh? You're asking for my advice or something? You see, Curious on. I've seen a lot of people in my time here, and I've determined that strength isn't the only thing you need to be de drowning in women. Wow. What a fucking epiphany. You have to be swimming in cash. Well, he took the wrong lesson here. That's what's really important. I realized I'd have a better chance with women if I worked hard and saved up money for a year instead of wasting my time training with Komaki. That's why I'm working here now. In my creepy raincoat. Hey, if I beat you, will you give me a little extra cash? <laughs> Just kidding. Having money can definitely make life easier, but it can't buy you everything. Did you really quit training with Komaki to, to make a bit more money? I mean, I liked training and getting stronger, too. But I know it takes more than sheer strength to impress women. The only measure of a man, apparently. Besides, I'm already pretty strong. It's time for me to work on something else. Hmm. Strength isn't everything, huh? Well, why don't you show me just how strong you really are? Let's do this. Hi. Anyway, punchy, 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 punchy. Would you like to try again? It's rough that how fast he... Oh! He's got a little dodgy move. Oh, fuck. Ow. When do I learn this counter? Ow. I need this move. This isn't fair. Hey, that didn't work out for you.
You used up- you wasted all my heat! I didn't get to kill you with it. How could you do this to me? Ah, oh, I keep missing. I gotta remember that has something now. Do I learn that move now? No. I can't believe I lost. How can you be this strong? I underestimated you. You did pretty well, but you're clearly out of practice. You're right. I'm sorry for not taking this more seriously. I'm never gonna get a girl like this. I need to get back to my training, huh? There's nothing wrong with wanting to be strong or, or have money, but you need more than that if you want a woman. You've gotta be a real man. And you're never gonna find a woman if you keep wearing that frown wherever you go. You just tell him to smile more? You're right. Thanks for the tips. I shouldn't be wasting time working here. I've got to work on myself instead. I, uh... Have you considered talking to women? Like just, you know, meeting them. <laughs> Fighting him dredged up memories of one of the Komaki techniques I used to know. Komaki Perry. So circles, little dodge. Alright, so this is going to be a really important quest to do. I'm going to unlock three abilities right now. The circle's a counter now. I can do that little bastard movie he's throwing at me. Uh, right, this is Wild Jackson. Where is Smile Burger? I think it's down here. Club Shine. Smile Burger, okay. I had the approximate, like, vertical, like, y-axis coordinate, but not the x-axis coordinate. I was a little off. There you are. Hi, I would like to assault one of your employees, please. Welcome. What can I get for you today? Actually, I'm not a customer. I mean, I can be, if you want me to be. Are you one of old man Kamaka's pupils? Huh? Wait. Are you Kazuma Kiryu? The master told me about you. You need to fight me to remember what you learned before, is that right? I may be working in a fast food restaurant now, but there was a time where I thought I could be the very best. Can't you train in the martial arts and work fast food? I mean, training in the martial arts isn't a career, generally speaking. You're the dragon of Dojima. Even the master recognizes your legendary skill. I'd love to get the chance to see if my Komaki techniques can stand, can stand up to you. They can't. Let's take it outside. I feel like... Boss, I'm taking my break now. Hey, hold on it. Dang it. This is the place that casually fires people for doing anything wrong. And he's gonna fight a customer? Here should work. Directly in front of the store? I'm not gonna hold back. Let's do this. Sir, there is an alley right there. It's right there. Don't fight in front of the store. In the uniform of the store, you're gonna get your ass fired. Whatever, it's not my responsibility. Whee! Oh. Oh my god, he just died. I don't even know what movie he had. He never hit me. Or did anything. I can't believe it. The master was right about you. You won, fair and square. I thought I had studied the Kamaki style longer than almost anyone, but I know now that I've still got a lot to learn. Looks like I've forgotten what it's like to be in a real fight. Heh. <laughs> that was a good workout, though. Thanks for that. Fighting you has really gotten my blood pumping. It makes me want to come out of to retirement. I'm sure you could go right back into training if you wanted to. Thank you for everything. Oops, I better get back inside. My boss is gonna be pissed. You were gone for like 30 seconds. This isn't even a, this isn't even a break. Feel free to come back to visit as a customer next time. I will, good luck. What? Fighting him dredged up memories of the Kamaki techniques I used to know. Kamaki tiger drop! He had the tiger drop and he never used it on me? Oh fuck. That's like the strongest thing in the game. I don't, even, I don't even have to unlock it by, like, doing something complicated or hard or expensive. I just get it. 
The fucking tiger drop? That's a big deal. It's like overpowered as shit. Depending on the game, at least. Sushi, 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 sushi gin. Yeah, as expected, southern border. Right down here. I got, I've been I've made myself best buds with this guy on like two different characters I think I've done, I think I've done multiple quests in sushi Jin at this point but there might but it might not be the right place no it is welcome we've got some great magro in today you should definitely try some I didn't come to eat today I came to kill. I heard that one of Old Command Kamaki's pupils was here. You're Kazuma Kiryu. The master told me about you. I've been waiting for you to show up. Why don't we step outside? Okay. I'll be there in a minute. These people are- these people all quit. And yet they're all like itching to fight this challenger that just comes after them. None of them are even begrudging about this. Here should be good enough. Right then, let's get started. Why did you quit Kamaki's dojo? I came to train in the Tokyo Sushi Restaurant to help my father get out of debt. But you know how things can be in a city like this. You have to do whatever you can to survive. In the end, my hands were most often used to hurt people, not make delicious sushi. I heard about Kamaki-style fighting in the gambling hall. The moment I did, I forgot all about my training as a sushi chef. But when I met the owner of the place I'm working at now, I remembered how I used to feel about everything. About sushi. I wanted to make the best sushi in the world, and help my father keep his restaurant afloat. That's why I quit Master Komaki's dojo. I see. Still, I like that dojo. I knew I could get stronger there. I've always wanted to be strong. Alright then, Kiryu-san. Let's see how Kamaki training fares against a real opponent. Are you ready? I... You guys all can do both. It's totally doable. <laughs> Tiger drop. So violent and it's so abrupt. You win. You're as strong as I thought you were. You're quite the impressive fighter yourself. <laughs> Hearing that from you makes the sting of defeat a little less painful. I guess my training didn't go to waste after all. They just didn't train me on how to take a hit from a bike. You don't need your fists anymore. Your sushi should be enough to protect your father's restaurant. You'll be all right. Heh. <laughs> Thanks. You've got away with words, you know. I feel a little better now. Thanks to you. Is it better get back to work? If you'll excuse me. Fighting him dredged up memories of one of Komaki's techniques I used to know. You can now use Komaki knockback. Guard against an enemy attack, then immediately press triangle to parry the attack. I defeated all of old man's... All the old man's pupils. I'd better get back to the Kamaki Dojo. Are you impressed with me, father figure? Uh, technically, the taxi will save a little bit of time. The locations are not blowing my mind, though. At least it'll cut down on random encounters if I go, if I'm um, if I'm lucky, or there'll be one like right here. Probably. I have another block to go. I'm definitely going to get attacked. There's no way I'm making it through this. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> As 
sushi is the highest profession. Everyone else had lame jobs and would, and the game judged them and they should feel apparently should feel bad and go back into 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 dojoing. Uh huh. If it isn't my dearest disciple, I hear you defeated all three of my former pupils somehow. Somehow I heard that. I know you can do it. Seems your skills are not as rusty as I once thought. I suppose. They all put up a pretty good fight, though. No. <laughs> it definitely helped me remember all the techniques you taught me in the past. <coughs> Excellent. Once you learn a technique, it stays with you. Even when you think you've completely forgotten it. Almost like hitting somebody with a bike. I mean, riding a bike. Yeah. Looks like I've got it all back now. Thanks for the help, old man. Now that I've got the old techniques back, can I start learning some new ones? Not so fast. The, de the people you defeated are skilled fighters indeed, but they are former pupils, not current ones. I believe you still have more to remember, yes? Yeah, you might be right. Those former pupils of yours were tough, but I could spark in someone tougher. But, but if I could spark in someone tougher, I might remember some more old techniques. Very well, then. Would you like to try facing an active Komaki master? You mean you? No, no, you'll be facing my top pupil. I can vouch for his strength. You may not be able to beat him. Really? Well, it's not like I'm completely out of practice. We'll see how tough this guy is. Alright, let's do this. Guess I'm the final boss for you, huh, Kiryu-san? I do train for hours every single day. I think you'll find me a different, difficult opponent to beat. At least they're making it relatively easy to regain everything, since we have the whole thing where all of our abilities reset every game. Like, this is relatively rapid fire. Hey, buddy. Ah! Counterattack. Oopsie. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable fighting there. Tiger drops bullshit. <laughs> it's actually bullshit, but it'll get me through some of the harder boss fights when I'm in trouble. Like that damn guy in the red suit from earlier. Oopsie. <laughs> I think you'll find that I'm a very difficult enemy to defeat. <laughs> <laughs> you win. You did well. I mean, you're alive, so you took a few punches without dying, which is a good start. If I hadn't been paying attention, you might have laid me out on the floor. Here, I was thinking I was the best master of uh, best of Master Kamaki's students. I'll train hard, so next time we face each other, I'll come out on top. I'd be happy to fight you again, give you another chance to test your skills. You can now use Kamaki Daruma Tumbler. Press X again while quick stepping to enhance your quick step even further. So it's a little, yeah, it's a little roll. You can really cover some ground. Well done. I do believe your Kamaki techniques have once again been honed to perfection. Practicing all those old techniques makes me want to train with you again. Maybe you can teach me some of some new moves next time, old man. Oh ho! Well, feel free to come back whenever you like. I very much enjoy watching you grow stronger, my dearest disciple. Well. I'm glad I can at least provide you with some entertainment. If it keeps you going, if, if it keeps you from going senile, that's well worth the pain. Oh, no. Hey now, I'm still young, you know. Show your master some respect. Heh, <laughs> sorry to ruffle your feathers, old man. I'll see you later. I was gonna say, you keep getting mad other people call you old man, but you can't seem to stop calling him that. Mm.